So I always tell applicants this because I think it makes them feel better. Our raters have to do a Casper test. So they know what it's like to write your response or be saying your response and get cut off. So they understand that sometimes you're not, you don't finish your last thought or you don't. So they understand all that. The other thing is that when we get them to do the rating, we don't give them an ideal response to grade against. Because again, Linda, when we're answering a scenario, you might talk about communication and empathy, and I might talk about collaboration and you know problem solving in my response, both of which are very appropriate. We might take it in slightly different directions because of our own things that are important to us. And so we don't want our raters going through and just having this pre-prescribed idea of what the right answer is, because there is no single right answer. And as they're doing this, they're going through and they're looking at applicants as they go through multiple applicants for the same scenario. And so they're benchmarking as they go through. And after they've rated 20, they can go back and rescore those responses, you know, because I may think something, something is a, you know, a seven out of nine. And then after I, I'm like, oh, that's actually like an eight or a nine out of nine after I see the other responses. So it's relative to your peers as well. And people, what we've seen, and, and we can give example responses is that some folks, you know, write, you know, say I would do A and some people say they would do B and they score the same. Um, and that's one of the most important things. Casper becomes valuable because it's not just a single scenario. You know, this year there's 14 scenarios that folks are going through to get that, that score. And it's your performance on each of those. So you could have a Casper scenario and you say, I did not answer that one well. That's okay. The other raters have no idea how you answered that scenario. You just go on and you start again fresh. With so it's a different rate. different raters. It's not by the exam, it's by the question. Exactly, exactly. So with Casper, it's a brand new rater for each scenario that you write. So what that allows you to do is have a fresh 14 different fresh starts as you're going through and really present your best self as you're going through. So that score that you get at the end is 14 independent impressions of how you did across 14 different types of scenarios. 